How's it going guys? My name is Mr. Bosch the Wind, and I don't do a lot of zombies on my channel, so I'm not claiming to be an expert here. But uh, I want to bring you this little cool video. So I was playing with my friend James here. His description or his channel <laughs> will be in the description. You can tell what kind of day it's been. And we were trying to turn on the RPG trap. Now, uh, there's a few steps to doing this. Fairly easy. One of the fewer easy things you can do in this game. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do right off the bat is get some points. You're going to want to get about 3,000 to 2,000 points. I don't know why I said that backwards. But you're going to want to walk through the library. And James has already done the liberty of opening the door that is through the library. And once you do that, you're going to want to walk up a few levels and proceed to kill a few zombies from here because you are going to need some more points. I actually bought the B23R and that's a good starting weapon if you want to get down to the docks, which is where the RPG trap is located. Now once you do that, you're going to go up one more floor on CD Street. You can see I've fallen right here and you're going to open this door for $2,000 and straight ahead is the gondola. Now you're going to want to take the gondola and you're going to want to ride it all the way down to the docks. This is what the purpose of the gondola is for, getting you down to the docks. And you can see uh, right here I'm like, hmm, guitars can be t played from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. I think that is pretty cool. So James and I are going to take this little gondola ride down here right to the docks. And that is where you are going to uh, hold out and get the RPG trap started. Now the docks is actually a pretty nice area if you want to do some holding down or you want to do some uh, rape trains, I guess you could call it, because the Tommy gun is down there and the juggernaut perk is down there. So if you ever die, you can still get it back, no problem. You know, it shouldn't be an issue. So anyways, once you're on the dock, the first thing you want to do is come down here towards really where like the, the sea is. Now you can see that James has actually turned on the sniper rifle trap right here and he's going to go into afterlife mode. Once he's in afterlife mode, he is going to actually shock the power switch that is on kind of like the base of the, the trap right there. You can see he just shocked it and now this little tower is going to be shooting RPGs and look at this it's literally making zombie crawlers and taking them out right before my eyes this is one of the coolest things uh, in the game I think it's very cool uh, that Treyarch actually put this in the game so I think that is a, a fun little Easter egg that they've dropped in here and it's actually very effective it's more of, a, of an effective Easter egg and less of like a cosmetic Easter egg so one that is very cool uh, in a minute you'll actually see me do it it's really easy if you have an extra afterlife to spare go for it all you do is really drop a grenade at your feet or kill yourself in some way like I'm about to do right now and uh, activate the trap and all you've got to do is go up to the electrocutional panel once you're in afterlife mode you can see that I don't know where I am I'm so discombobulated and uh, you walk over to this little tower on the docks and you jump up there and you shock it and it's going to shoot RPGs you can see the little uh, ledge or the hinge closes on it so you can no longer shock it anymore and it will then begin to shoot RPGs it takes a little while here because we are at the start of the spawn or the start of the round, I should say. And there you go. It's, you can see it's shooting RPGs right there. So uh, it's actually really fun and effective. James and I, we got to like level 10 or round 10. Sorry, I, I know zombies people must be hating me right now. But we got to about round 10, and I thought it was uh, you know, really cool. We are able to just run around with a Tommy gun with no perks. Still doing a pretty good job down here. So uh, I thought this was pretty cool. And for those of you guys who do like zombies, I thought I would share it with you. Uh, you know, just because it is very helpful for your strategy. Also, there's a part down here. So there's a lot of key things on the dock. The dock is a very key area. So if you guys are new or you would like to see more videos from my channel and Black Ops 2 and Uprising or whatever, click the subscribe button. And I always always appreciate a like. I really love it when you guys do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Hope you guys have a great day. Go kill some zombies, man. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.